What if 2B2T Crossplay and 2B2T PE went to war? How would this war play out, and who would win? The 2B Crossplay map would be ground zero for this war, along with its anti-cheat. Now let's assume Luke made it, so when the PE players tried to join their server, they would automatically be rerouted to 2B2T Crossplay instead. The PE players would keep their inventories and the contents of their ender chests, but the anti-cheat would delete or revert to all illegals. To distinguish who is who, you would have your native server's name next to your player tag. Now, for starters, PE outnumbers Crossplay's active player base 10 to 1. This will be a big problem when it comes to PvP. PE also has access to dupes, so they outnumber Crossplay in the sheer amount of items they have. But on the other hand, Crossplay has a small portion of its community that is on Java, while PE's player base is completely bedrock, giving the Crossplay players a much needed PvP advantage, as Java clients are more effective at PvP than bedrock. And since this war is taking place on the Crossplay map, none of the PE players would have access to their stashes. Now, I'm going to break down what I personally think would happen if these two servers tried to wipe each other off the face of the earth. The massive amount of players joining would cause the server to fold in on itself, lighting the server room on fire, ending in a massive explosion, shutting down IGN, causing Master Luke to fly his plane into House Master's mansion as his last act of anarchy. The PE players joined by the hundreds, set on killing any crossplay player they come across and claiming the server as their own. But not everyone likes each other in PE, so they would start fighting each other as well. Crossplay's best bet in winning this war would be making temporary alliances with rival PE groups at the start of this chaos. The PE players would mob 0 most likely killing all of the crossplay PvPers. After a couple of hours, the majority of the PE players would be traveling in the nether looking to set up a base to deal with their things. This would not be good for many of the larger crossplay groups, as hundreds of people spreading out in the nether looking to set up bases would most likely result in their bases being found. The crossplay players must strike first, and they must strike hard. If the PE players get established, it could be years before this war would ever be over. Crossplay's only leg up would be its bases and its Java players. So, as I stated before, alliances with PE groups is a must have. Crossplay's only disadvantages are in numbers and in resources. So, if crossplay players could even the playing field, they could bleed PE players dry of their resources, as they only brought over their ender chests and their inventories. So they do have limited resources, but they do have a lot. But they don't have bases set up to replenish these resources. Since many of the PE players are not used to crossplay's grindy meta, a good chunk of them would leave, eliminating a lot of players from the war would be pretty good for crossplay. But the losses would be substantial though, as a result of the increased nether travel, we would lose some larger bases. The situation at spawn would be bad though, all of those PvPers completely stacked, enough gear to last them months. Here on this battlefield, Crossplay would heavily rely on its Java PvPers. The larger bases left over from the destruction would have to supply them constantly if Crossplay ever wants to get rid of these PE players. It would take months though, those PvPers over at PE are very dedicated, but Crossplay could, within time, push PE out of their server. The leftover alliances could be peacefully or forcibly disbanded, which could result in several smaller battles. The damage to crossplay would be immeasurable, as the majority of crossplay's player base is new players who would be pushed out in the conflict. The rapid nether travel would result in many large bases being taken over or destroyed. We would be left with the husk of a server. The dedicated players, few that stayed, would stand atop a destroyed server ready to rebuild.